Greetings, my beautiful lovelies. It's Emmy. How are you? It is so good to see you and welcome back. Today's video is sponsored by HelloFresh, the food delivery service that brings fresh pre-portioned ingredients right to your doorstep so you can prepare a meal in about 30 minutes. HelloFresh has so many recipes to choose from. It is a great way to break out of recipe ruts. You save so much time with less prep, less food waste because everything comes pre-portioned right to your doorstep. HelloFresh makes things super easy with family-friendly recipes, pescatarian, fit and wholesome, and vegetarian options. It's a great way to stay on track for your New Year's goals because with pre-portioned ingredients, there's less food waste, less packaging, and you save a ton of time. Fewer trips to the grocery store, and you get yourself a home-cooked meal in about 30 minutes. HelloFresh has a wide variety of recipes to choose from, including quick and easy meals that come together in about 20 minutes that include low prep and easy cleanup. And your food arrives in packaging that contains already recycled content. And this week, my family's favorite meal was the pasta primavera. So if you'd like to try HelloFresh for yourself, go to hellofresh.com and use my code EMMYMADE16 to receive up to 16 free meals and three surprise gifts. Big thanks to HelloFresh for sponsoring this video and for their continued support. So today I'm going to be making a crinkle or a crinkle cake. Have you heard of this? So many of you got in touch with me via social media. Thanks so much for bringing this to my attention. And it was for this crinkle recipe. I'm going to be following a recipe that I found on TikTok by Romena said, wow. And I'll put a link down below to the original. And it looks super simple. It's basically a dessert that is composed of phyllo dough, which is a very thin pastry. It's used to make spanakopita. It's also used to make baklava. And this is kind of similar to baklava because it's layered and buttery, but the assembly is a little bit different. This contains an eggy custard, which is similar to another Greek dessert, which is called galactoboreko, which contains an eggy custard. Pardon my terrible Greek, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> but this looks delectable. It looks nice and crisp and crunchy. The filo dough is very, very thin. It contains lots of butter, lots of sugar. And I mean, what else is there to be said? Oh yes, there's egg and milk in there too. So it's gonna make a little kind of custard at the bottom. So I think the bottom is gonna be a little bit more moist with a crisp, crunchy top. And it looks super easy to make because we're gonna be using frozen filo dough that you can buy at the grocery store. So let's go ahead and get started. So I'm going to be doing things a little bit different order than what Romina shows in her video. We're going to finish this crinkle with a sugar syrup and she doesn't say how long it takes to cook it, but it looks pretty sticky. She insists that it needs to be this kind of thick consistency. And based on my experience cooking sugar, that takes a little bit of time. So I've got a cup of sugar in here. She said just a simple syrup. There are no amounts on the sugar part. So one cup of sugar to one cup of water. And I am going to add some heat to that. And we're going to melt this and cook it until it gets syrupy, but not until it caramelizes. We don't want any brown color. We just want it to be syrupy. So I'm going to do that. Give this a stir. And it's not going to take too long, I imagine. And I read some other recipes where they kept their syrup kind of watery and they said it turned out fine. But I'm going to try to get it to a syrupy consistency but if you've ever worked with sugar sugar can be notoriously finicky and oftentimes when making syrups corn syrup is added to prevent crystallization but I don't think we're gonna cook it for that long the most important thing is that the sugar be dissolved in the water so I'm gonna set that aside we'll see how long it takes okay next we're going to prepare our phyllo dough so I've got an extra long baking pan here. This is a Pyrex pan and it says it's 13 and a half by eight and three quarters. So right here. And I just picked this up at the thrift store. You can use any kind of dish. Romena actually uses a disposable kind of aluminum tray. So that works just fine too. But any kind of baking dish that can accommodate your phyllo dough. Here is our phyllo dough. It comes packaged like this. I bought it in the frozen department, phyllo dough, and you have to let this thaw in the refrigerator or on your countertop for about five hours. And this contains 18 sheets. The recipe doesn't say exactly how much to use, but since there's only 18 sheets, I bought two packages so that 
my crinkle will be nice and full. We're gonna fill this up with a phyllo dough. Now, have you seen any of those videos where they make phyllo by hand? It is a beautiful process. It looks absolutely magical. The dough has such elasticity and they stretch it over tabletop. So it's just it's almost transparent. It's incredible. But we don't have to do that because we can buy it pre-made. So I'm gonna unfurl this. Actually, there's quite a bit of dough here. And it is very thin, but look at, that's a pretty sizable sheet. What we're supposed to do is take two sheets at a time and lift it up. And Romena says that we're supposed to crinkle it like this, folding it. Basically, we're creating an accordion like this, just like scrunching it. And some goes to the front, some goes to the back. And we get this nice little accordion pattern like that. Super simple and easy. And then we tuck it into our baking dish. We're gonna line it all up. Maybe one package is going to be enough. And we're gonna do this for the entire box or until our tray gets filled up. The flavorings for this is going to, are gonna be vanilla, sugar, of course, and I think that's it. So I think this would be lovely with a bit of cinnamon as well, but I'm just gonna add some nuts just so I don't complicate things too much. I've got about a third of a cup of nuts here. And just for fun, I'm gonna sprinkle it in there. So we have a little bit of nutty flavor and texture. Alrighty, so I've completed crinkling my <laughs> phyllo dough and that's what it looks like. Very neat and tidy. And we are going to pop this into a preheated 350 degree oven for 10 minutes just to toast up the dough a little bit. My syrup has been cooking for about 12 minutes. I'm gonna clear this and set it for 10 minutes. So in my bowl, I've got a cup of sugar. I'm going to add some milk, equal amount. Two eggs, bloop, and bloop. Three teaspoons of vanilla extract. I'm using vanilla paste because I happen to have it, but extract is fine. Paste is lovely because you get all those little vanilla bean seeds in there. It's so cute. I'm just using my finger. Yep. Yep. Get all that yumminess in there. I'm going to turn off my syrup. It's been boiling for about 15 minutes now. Actually, I started the timer from when I started it. So it's probably been boiling for about 10 minutes and beat this all together. Want to make sure that the sugar is dissolved and that the eggs are well mixed. Mm -mm -mm, I can smell the vanilla already. So that didn't take much effort at all. In fact, this whole entire recipe is super simple. So our phyllo is toasted. And now for the <laughs> yummy bit, we're going to take two sticks of butter or one cup of butter that's been melted and pour this right over top. Now when making a dessert like baklava, this would be put in between each layer, the butter, which helps separate the layers, but also just ensures that every little bite gets some buttery goodness. But this is much faster. You just kind of dump everything in. The crinkles that we made earlier are gonna give us the layers and we just pour the butter on. Now we're gonna bake this for another 10 minutes. Oh, it smells great. Butter smells so good. Look at that. Okay, back into the oven. Look how golden this is. All that butter, smelling lovely. Now we're going to take the custard we made earlier and pour that over top. So. Give it another mix to make sure that the sugar and eggs are incorporated. And we're just gonna pour this right over top. Get in all those little nooks and crannies. And then we're gonna pop it back into the oven and bake it for 30 to 40 minutes until the custard's kind of absorbed into the crinkle. And uh, yeah, see you in about 30 minutes. <laughs> Alrighty, my lovelies, I just took the crinkle out of the oven and it smells 
marvelous so vanilla and look at it it looks so beautiful all golden and all those folds mm, mm, mm. now while it's still warm we're going to add our syrup this is the syrup i made the one-to-one -one ratio of sugar to water and i cooked it for about 15 minutes and now i'm going to pour it on top of the crinkle that'll give it some sheen and some added sweetness Ooh, boy, let that get in all the nooks and crannies. That looks luscious. I'm going to go ahead and give this a taste. We're going to go ahead and cut into this. Maybe I'll use this thing right here. Did you hear that? Crispy, crispy. Take this little corner piece right here. I imagine as with most hot desserts, this will set up more as it cools, but I cannot wait. This smells so good. Get that slice out. Oh, yes. Custardy on the side, crinkly and gorgeous on the top. Alrighty, let me grab a fork and give the crinkle a taste. It looks beautiful and so easy to make. You can see the custard down below. Hear the crispness on the top. Okay, let's just give this a go. Here we go. Itadakimasu. Mm-hmm. It's very nice. Very buttery. Not as kind of custardy as I thought. I can see how it's called like a crinkle cake. All of that phyllo dough absorbed the moisture from the eggs and from the milk and from the syrup we put on top. Nice level of sweetness. The top is crispy. You get a nice flavor of butter throughout. Mm -hmm. It's sweet and it's rich, but I like the texture. It is somewhat custardy, but kind of not because you've got all those layers of phyllo in between there. Mm -hmm. It's got a pleasant doughiness to it. The dough kind of absorbs all of that sweetness and the flavor of vanilla that permeates through everything. I really do like that contrast of kind of flaky, crispy top and kind of denser middle. Get that bit. Yep. Mm. Mm. The bottom's nice and flaky and crisp, as is the top. But in between, it's got a pasta bake texture. Yeah, kind of like a casserole, <laughs> but infused with butter and vanilla. It's good and super, super easy. And in terms of texture, it's not really like a baklava at all. A baklava has that crispness that kind of goes throughout and the layers remain more separate. Here, the layers, you got a crispy layer and kind of a crisp bottom layer, but in between is kind of this pasta-like interior so it is quite different and this is eggier and richer in a different kind of way and some i think that us that largely is in part due to the eggs i imagine so there you have it a crinkle a very simple easy to make dessert that you can make in advance and serve at room temperature and it has a lovely presentation as well all right, my lovelies, thanks so much for suggesting this one to me. Find me on social media. I love, love, love hearing from you. And thanks to HelloFresh for sponsoring this video. If you'd like to try them for yourself, click the link down below or go to HelloFresh.com and use my code EMMYMADE16 to receive up to 16 free meals and three surprise gifts. Thanks again for watching. I hope you enjoyed that one. I hope you learned something. Please share this video with your friends. Follow me on social media, like this video, subscribe, and I shall see you in the next one. Toodaloo. Take care. Bye. Ready? Jazz hands.